Right, howdy everyone, and I'd say welcome back to the channel, but this is just going to be a quick video, um, just a quick bit of catch up on what's going on and how things are going to progress in the future with the channel. Right, firstly, I know it's been a long, 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 long while since I've posted a video, but in my last video, I think I explained that I've got a little adventure going on my own. Um, that adventure is still going on. Um, I think I've got another year and a half to progress that. Um, but it's still going. It's an ongoing progress. And I'll inform later on what that's going to be about. Right, uh, where we stand today with HGV driving. Um, I can now announce and say after two years of struggling, uh, that's it, done. Hung my keys up, I've chopped all my cards up, uh, HGV driving, no more. Um, I'm not going to say no, it's never going to happen again because the overall outcome of my HGV driving career uh, so that's 25 years of driving, uh, 13 or 14 of them have been HGV1. Um, is There's only three companies that I've worked for that I go back to, three out of all the companies that I've worked for. Uh, I'm not going to announce them companies, but yeah, just to let you know that there is three that I go for. Uh, regarding anything else... <sighs> I feel sorry for them that are still driving uh, and the younger generation. Why do I say the younger generation? Because if you look around and open your eyes, there seem to be a lot more HGV crashes. Um, there's a lot more pressure on HGV drivers and the younger generation are now finding out that that promise that Boris Johnson made, you know, HGV driving is a very rewarding and profitable career. Um, they're finding out it's not. It's not what people make it out to be. Um, what I'm doing at the minute is I'm driving a van, right? I didn't say my driving career was at an end. I just said my HGV. Um, I'm driving a van. I get more sociable hours. I get a lot more money, believe me, a lot more money for driving a van. And I'm not hounded or pressured, right? And I'm not trapped with aggression and abuse and foul language and all that kind of stuff, right? It's, it's all gone. So, yeah, driving a HGV, I think a lot of the young'uns now are finding out that... It's not what it's cracked up to be. Um, and you'd be surprised at how many people actually think that HGV drivers are on stupidly good money. Right? You only need to look around on social media platforms, agencies, uh, Google, all them kind of platforms. You look around and you're not. You, you might be working long, stupid hours for them, yeah, for the good money. But put it this way, the van driving job that I've got now, if I had to work the long, stupid hours in that with what I did on a HGV, I would come out with nearly twice the wage of a HGV driver. And it's absolute God's honest truth. I, I, I just, I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't. Uh, don't get me wrong. Nobody wants to know an ex-HGV driver because they think the that's all they know. Well, no, sorry. I've got plumbing, plastering, tiling tickets. Um, I'm a qualified drone pilot. Um, I've been to college. I'm a videographer. Uh, I've, I've, I've got more tickets than your average Joe Bloggs um, and I'm using all of them now to make for a, a better life because, come on, everybody's life 
is got the same thing behind it. We're all on borrowed time. Yeah, all of us. I don't want the stupid stress because I've got enough with all my home bills and all the rest of it and so on of everyday life. I don't want it in a job. And I don't want the aggro and grief that goes up with all the HGV driving. Now, I'm not saying every HGV job is like that because I've stated there's three companies that I go and work for on HGVs. Why? Because they were accommodating an understanding, right? I weren't one of these that took the piss, yeah? Like HGV companies took the piss out of me. One thing that you'll find in the HGV industry is they lie, yeah? Your transport planner will lie. That, that what you can do on it, oh, you, you, you can do that. Such a body can do that. Why can't you do it? You, you're full of that, right? And it's all shit. It's bullshit. When they make a promise to a customer, where did you come into that promise? Yeah, you pay to do a job. You're not paid for the promises, right? So when you get to that customer and it's late, what do you get? Because you're the first person that they can actually see grief. Jabbering shit and grief, yeah? No more. Absolute no more. And all the younger generation, good on them, because they're starting to see all this now. And it's crap. It's absolute crap. And they're not putting up with it. Do you know why? Because they're going, you know what? Not for me, this. I'm off. Yeah, they're all excited when they first start off. Give them two years down the line. That's it. No. Nope. Sick of this, don't have a life. I'm having to work, flog my guts out for all this money. Yeah, I'm a van driver now. I earn more money, more money driving a van than what I ever got on a HGV. Well, put it this way, the HGV money is that crap now. If I go back 12, between 12 and 14 years ago, I found some old pay slips. I was earning more money then than what I was to present day on a HGV. How does that work? So we go down in wages, do we? Not up, yeah? And, uh, uh, and this is the shocker of it all, and this is what pisses me off. You know, I've seen the times where they were good. Well, they weren't good because the facilities are shit. They lie to you all the time. They give you constant stress and grief. You get stress and grief everywhere you go. You've got the idiots on the road. And it doesn't go for everybody, this, before I get all the things in the comments below. Oh, this is fucking good. That's good. Isn't it? I'm telling you my experience. And I'll tell you what, where I'm working now, pretty much every driver that's there driving a van is X. HGV and there's an awful lot of van drivers where I am at X HGV I think there's only two that are not so that says a lot doesn't it yeah out of, out of I think there's about 30 odd drivers maybe more right all of them X HGV what does that tell you yeah you got your CPC it's a crock of shit right what, 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 it's all right, you doing the CPC, but what about the other 100 million car drivers that are on the bloody road that don't have a clue? Yeah? And, and what's the other one? You're a professional driver. Piss off. Well, pay me a professional wage. Yeah? It, it's all come to an end. All come to an end. And one in thousands of drivers that are giving it up. And I'll tell you the other thing the gap between drivers yeah so you have a massive age gap massive huge <laughs> where are they all the only people that are benefiting out of all this are the people that teach you to drive a hgv that's it what would i say to all them people that are going for the hgv save your money save it put it for a deposit for a house or something like that you will earn more money out there in other jobs, believe me, the well-paid HGV jobs, you're not gonna get anywhere near. 
and the aggro and grief that comes with it. Is that what you want in life? You only need to look around. And, you know, there's plenty of them on this platform, you know, that say, oh, HGV driving this, that and the other. It's good. It's this, it's that, it's so on, it's blah, 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 blah. I could ream off plenty of them, plenty of them that have been on YouTube. And they're not there now. Why? Because they eventually found out what it's like. You have no life. You get your HGV and you sign your life away. If that's what you want, that's fine. But you're never going to get a work-life balance whilst driving a truck, ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't work. So yeah, the, the, the catch up with it all is, I've got to announce, that's the end of the channel. That's it. That, that's the HGV thing now is now shut down. Um, I will still report bits of what I know about HGV driving. I'm not going to wipe the channel clean because maybe there might be questions that people want to know from seeing this video or some of the other videos, but the channel will carry on, but it's going to get formed into something else. Rather than start a fresh new channel, I don't want to leave behind what I've already said. I'd rather people knew and watched it. All my subscribers, I've, I've got to say to you, thank you very, very, very much. And I mean, thank you very much. And this is the reason why I'm not completely shutting the channel down. It's because of you guys, yes, all you lot, um, that have given me the thing to go away, have a think, and so on and so on. Uh, and readjust to because you said there's a lot more out there than HGV driving uh, and there is but unfortunately a lot of people just don't want to know on old HGV driving they they think they can't do anything else uh, in the job market it's shocking it, it really is shocking so all you lot that are coming into it and think oh yeah I'm going to do this blah 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 no when you apply for other jobs and you've seen all that you've done most of your life is HGV driving they think you can't do anything else. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's very, very wrong. Um, I can do an awful lot, a very awful lot. But yeah, I've, I've come out of it. That's it, done. Um, there's people that have been in touch whilst I've not mentioned or been on the channel. But to all you guys and girls and everybody else that's out there that have supported me, thank you very much. I'm not going to shut the channel down completely. If you want to keep watching, um, there will be other things on there. Um, I might give you a little taster um, of what I've been doing, but it does involve my drones and my videography and so on. I'll, I'll put a little thing on uh, of what I've been doing, a little taster. Uh, a couple of pictures, something like that. Um, but yeah, um, I've been doing an awful lot of other things. Uh, apart from HGV driving. Now, regards now, yeah, I'm a lot happier, an awful lot happier. I see more of my family. Uh, the tasks and jobs that I've started at home are now being completed properly. Um, I'm not shattered. I'm not walking around like a zombie. I'm not stressed out. It, it's great, you know what I mean? All this from HGV driving, you know, all the problems I've had. Uh, and it's all right saying, no, oh, switch off to it and knock off and all that lot. But it doesn't work like that. Them that have been there, no. And them that have been there for an awful long time, no. You can't just switch off from it. It, it eventually gripes on you. So much so that it gets you down. And this is where I've said many a times, um, the whole entire HGV industry needs to have a rethink and it does yeah them that say that you don't make big profits from hgvs and this that and the other well why do they keep them on the road and why do they keep getting more yeah it's because they make big profits right and and then that go around saying oh well i've got to undercut this and this that's your problem yeah put your prices up 
don't do it to undercut people. There's certain big companies that are, are sort of no longer existent. You only need to look up and down the motorways to see who I'm on about, yeah, that have done the undercut thing and tried everything else uh, and it all went tits up, yeah. Customers are like everybody else in life. All they're bothered about is themselves. They're not bothered about anybody else. If they can get a deal out of it, they'll get a deal out of it. That's facts of life. But yeah, HGV thing, gone completely. And I'm glad. I, I'm so, so glad. Um, it's just been a long time coming. And this is why the industry needs to change and the infrastructure. Um, you know, you, you'll find that the facilities in this country for truck drivers, it's just gone downhill massively. And it's always been like that. Um, yes, you get one or two good places, but they fill up quick. Laybys and everything else. You just go through the videos and I'm, there's there's bits in there that will explain it. But if you have any questions, ask them. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's not all doom and gloom, but the amount of people that are stressed out by HGV driving is unbelievable. Um, I had a prime example of it of weekend just gone. Uh, yeah, I, I could mention the companies, but when you're a so-called professional driver, if you're sticking your fingers up at me and giving me the F and Jeff sign and all the rest of it and so on, when I'm in my car, for doing something that a HGV driver would do, right? In fact, they did it before they given me the fingers and all the rest of it. With my daughter sat in the car, yeah? Well done. Good on your professional truck driver. You're an absolute star, yeah? Keep your hand gestures to yourself, right? And if you want to know the company, I'll gladly put it on. And in fact, I've got dash cam footage of it. So yeah, just think on when you're doing all these signs that you're giving your company a real good name, a real good name. Yeah, and this is the problem with truck driving. I didn't blame them. Do you know why I didn't blame them? I've been there. I know the pressures that they're under to complete. Yeah. Stupid. That's what it is. Stupid. You took, took the challenge on. If you hate the job that much, get out of it. But you can't. Because trying to apply for other jobs out of HGV, nobody wants to know an ex-HGV driver. It's amazing that, isn't it? It, it, it? it is. So, yeah, that's it. That's that's end of channel, so to speak. It will be formed into something else. Um, so if you want to follow along with that, the whole entire channel has been a journey through life, career, all the rest of it. Um, I'm going to keep it going, but the HGV side of it is gone. I'll report on things about HGVs. Uh, sorry for waffling on, you know, um, if you have anything that you want to say, please do so. Stick it in the comments down below. Um, I'll do my damnedest to get back to you. Um, I always have done um, to the loyal supporters. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm going to leave it there. I might continue it with something else. Um, but I'll put a couple of snippets on at the end of some of the things that I've been up to. It's just a little teaser to what's to come. So if you want to follow along with that, please do so. Uh, and I want everybody to take care, take it easy. And to you drivers that are out there and sticking with a career and all the rest of it, just don't take the shit off them. Until they change the industry, don't take the shit off them. If they want you to work 15 hours, Time to kiss it, you know, until you bring that hour reduction down, they're going to still take the piss uh, and they'll run out of bums on seats because all foreigners are not coming back. Why? Because they found better lives abroad, yeah, where they get trek better, they get paid better, they've got better facilities. Yeah, all these lies that have been told about the government and all this lot and, you know, the EU and all this lot and coming out of it and so on and so on. No, when things disappear off shelves, it is down to shortage of drivers. 
So change the industry. That's it. Be all end all. Change it and you'll get a lot more that come back to it. Right. Until the next one, guys, girls, everybody else, please, please do take care. Do take it easy. And I'll put a little snippet on in the end and then I'll finish the video at that. And you'll see more to come in the future. Take it easy. Take care and bye bye for now.